Hey, what's up? Nick Reese here doing a figure review for Tuner and Zeta Eyes. This one's on the Marvel Select Classic Electro. I am a pretty big fan of this design of Electro. Not a huge fan of the articulation and stuff on this figure. The articulation is to be desired. Looks nice. I like the I love the sculpted on his head, on his headpiece. His arms look cool. I like the light. He I wish he had some effects though to like go with him to make him look like he's shooting lightning or something out of his hands. But no, the only thing he comes with is this this base. It's pretty generic. That's what it looks like. Whoops. Anyways, that's what it looks like. Is him with an electric generator in the background. Anyways, the face sculpt is really nice. Face sculpt is pretty nice, I mean. Um, the articulation is much to be desired, though. Um, the head rotates. It kind of looks up. Not very much. The, there's no ab crunch. There's a waist joint. He moves at the shoulders. Swivels at the shoulders. Single jointed elbows that don't even move to 90 degrees. Does have glove articulation, which is nice. He's got weird leg joints that only rotate like that, and you can't rotate him back unless you to make him look like he's in a decent flying pose, because then he's just gonna look like that. So when I have him flying, he just kind of has his leg bent barely. Um, but he has got double jointed knees, which are nice. I like double jointed knees. He has his ankles moved down that far, up that far, and they do have a pretty nice ankle pivot. But Overall, I like the Spider-Man Select, the Spectacular Spider-Man Select, better than this Electro, so I'll probably pick up the Marvel Legends one that they just released. Anyways, until the next time, like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.